Hello and welcome back. So let's continue on from where we were last. So we just finished, uh, well, not that finished, but close to finish in uh, the dialog node. So let's see. Now we actually have added the entire button function. How about we actually do? So we actually add it. So let's remove this and go at choice part. And uh, da, 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 da. I wish I would write this. There we go. So now it will be added to it. Of course, we also want the button to actually be there. So that might be a good idea as well. Oh, uh, let me just check. Then we need to go title, title button container dot it, and put the button into it. There we go. So that's the container we want it to be in. Uh, Alright, so now we also need to do so um, that each time, each time we change the language, we are actually also um, reloading the correct language into the different uh, the different text file areas. Blech. All right, so let's do that. So what dot reload language? There we go. So now we need to reload all the languages. So that will be like text field dot. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Value. Dot, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. I was just uh, looking at my notes, sorry about that. So I actually need to set up the entire thing. I actually think we can just copy paste it if we are lazy. Are we lazy? I think we are lazy. So we could just copy paste this down here. And let me just check my notes if that is all right. Yeah, all right, so because uh, when we go out to our here, this time we change the language here, we also wanted to load the correct language. So as you can see here, we are loading, we are calling this each time we are clicking as well. So we also need uh, the audio, where do we have the audio? Audio, here you are Mr. Audio. So we're just going to copy the audio and plug the audio in. And there we go. All right, so now we actually need to go through the entire and uh, all the ports. So we need to go dialogue, no ports. And they are, of course, dialogue, node. Are we just gonna call it no pull? Oh, no pull. So, for each node pull, we will have to go through the text field. So we're gonna go text field dot uh, callback course value, and we're gonna make the lunar expression expression the I think can't pronounce that correctly. Right, so we're gonna go. Uh, if I could spell it correctly, and uh, not. Oh no, 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 no! Why did I choose that? There we go. Port dot language dot find. Actually, let's change this a little. So right now it says just a language, but it's actually multiple. So we're gonna add a s at the end. Uh, that's simply because uh, so we just right click, rename, then go at the end and add a S because uh, it's a list and uh, we are using S at the end to tell if it is a list or not. So that's just a little note. All right, so we're just gonna look for the languages. So language. All right. Language. 
language if the language is the language type is equal to oh a teacher dot language type we are going to set language generic to the value of new to the new value and of course we are going to go uh, not pot dot text field dot set oh set value without notification that is of course going to be not part dot text language dot find uh and that is going to be language uh language oh, we just we just go into type language again dot language type equals to editor dot language type dot language genetic type and end it all right so let's just um, actually go through what we did here so we are going to set uh, the value to be uh, so if it, it, we're setting it up so it is now if we change the value, it changes to the value of the current genetic type. And we're also setting uh, the current uh, text field value to be uh, the, the new language we have changed to. So this reload language will first reset the language in the editor node. Actually, let's just go and make that part. So uh, da, 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 that will be in editor. Where are you editor window? Did, did we even make that language? Uh, actually, don't think we ever called it. Interesting. Uh, da, da, da. I guess maybe it's on the graph view then. So let's have a look at the graph view. Yeah, yeah, it should be on the graph view instead. So we're just gonna go up black, void, language reload. There we go. And we of course need to um, go through each of the languages and do uh, each of the dialog nodes. So we're gonna go list, dialog node. Dialog node, and we're just gonna call in dialog nodes equals nodes, and the notes part is a part of the graph view. So we're gonna go nodes to list dot where I want to do where Is it because we don't have the reference. Yes. Do we have the reference now? Yep, we have the reference. Beautiful. All right, so that is where node da, da, is node. So we are going to say that if the node is, uh, so we're going to ask if the node is a dialog node, and if it is, well, we want it to be cast, cast as a dialog node. And afterwards, we want, of course, it to make it into a list again. There we go. Now that this is a pretty big uh, mouthful, so let's go over what we do first. We are going to say we want all the nodes as a list, and then we go through the list and ask uh, and say we want all the nodes that is a dialog node. However, those dialog nodes are actually not returned to us as dialog nodes. So we're telling it we want them all to be cast as dialog nodes, and afterwards we want it returned in list. I hope that makes sense for everyone. And then we will go through each of them afterwards. 
uh, each of the dialog nodes. And we're just going to copy that because that's faster. Here we go. And each of them, we're then going to go dialog node dot reload language. There we go. So now we have reload the language. Of course, um, we then want to go into the editor window here. Let me just quickly look at my notes. So under the the language, we of course wanted to actually change the language as well. So we're gonna go uh, language. Oh yeah, let's remember to do the underscore. Let's just check, uh, what do we name the language in the top? We have it uh, just simply called language type. So we're simply going to say language type equals underscore language. And then we are going to go graph view dot language, if I could spell it correctly, lang language reload and reload the languages. There we go. And remove that one because now that actually works. So when we actually change the language, we are also uh, telling it to go into our graph view, finding all the dialog nodes and reload all the languages in the dialog nodes. So hooray for that. All right, so let me just check if there are any more we need with the node system, or else we, I think we are pretty much done. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's just set up, um, let's just set up the node loading part. Might as well do that now. So later on, when we actually going to load, uh, oh, why is that? Uh, da, 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 da. Two seconds. Let me just look at my notes again. Is this not professional? I know. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So every node will have a load in a field value. So let's just uh, go into our basic node. That's something I forgot to add. I think. Let's go in and have a look. Yeah, it is not here. And that is a public uh, vertical. Uh, well, that means we can overwrite it in other, um, recall it in our scripts over it. So we're just going to call load value in to field. There we go. So this function is. We are making it to when we actually load the field or load the data into the field. Because um, when I made the prototype for this tutorial, I ran into problems with that uh, even it had the data in it, but it was not showing it. So we had to go in and oh, let me just product that's much faster uh, to actually load it in. So I made this fin find function called. Uh, let's go override. I think it's called load. All right, so you can see now we are calling this one in here, and all we have to do in the, in here is and I'm again looking for my notes is to call all the fields here and load in the values that should be in the field. All right. So because we are lazy, we just no, let's not be lazy. So we're going to say uh, text field dot set value on our notification. And we, of course, need to tell it that it is the text dot find. And that is, of course, uh, yeah, language. Language dot language type equals editor dot language type dot language generic. Did I spell language correctly? Let's just have a look. See, I did not. The 
link which there we go we now do need to do that for each of the fields so let's just do that for audio as well audio clips dot set oh yeah it's the field we need audio clips dot set value and because I am lazy, we're going to copy. See, this should work, so we go audio clips. Yay! And later on we might get an <laughs> error, but let's just pretend we are not getting that error. No, no, I'm not saying we're getting it, but I say we might get it. I guess that doesn't make it any better, to be honest. Alright, so at least those here should be pretty easy. That's just a uh, face image. Face image, there we go. And why is that not... Uh, I cannot convert... Oh, that's because it's the field. So if we go duplicate and simply remove that part here. There we go. And then if we just go tab afterwards. Beautiful. Alright, so now we just need the name version. Let's just name field dot set value and name. That should be it. All right. So this is more of a refresh, refresh value, a uh, little function or uh, method. So when we uh, when we get to the part where we load in all our data, we can then call this function to uh, to see what we actually loaded in. And we actually need to do that uh, as well for the event node. Uh, so this one also needs a override load in. And we should be able to just copy this one down here for it. There we go. And the end node need one as well. So we're just going to go overwrite, don't load in, and load in the value. Let's just check my notes to be sure. Yes, and then we're safe. And that should be it for notes for now. So now we should have all the notes we need. So next episode, we will look into how to make um, a note search function or um, what's, it, no, what's it called uh, so we can actually right click and then uh, search for the notes we want to actually make in the area so uh, hooray for that right thank you for watching